Welcome again. Here we are. This time we are going to be looking at recursion. So again, I have the two documents open and Magic Draw. Just to remind us how about the two documents. We have class diagrams, Magic Draw tutorial open. And we go to the page that we're going to be working on in this tutorial. Here we are, section four, recursion. And what we're going to be doing is drawing the voluntary work aspect just there. And we can see what to the narrative and actually looking to see where in the narrative we can find the example of a recursion. And where we can find an example of recursion is actually quite the way down in the bottom of it here, just there. It's a good example of recursion. Voluntary workers are managed by a voluntary worker coordinator who is also herself a voluntary worker. So we have class voluntary worker which manages one or more other voluntary workers and they can either be coordinators or actual workers themselves. So we need to show that as a recursive relationship association rather in UML. Right, just to remind ourselves a little more about recursion, we can go to the other document I've got, an introduction to class object modeling, and look at the appropriate pages there. And that is recursive associations there. I'll just enlarge that. Let's see what we have here. But we have here an example of an employee. Right, I notice that's the entity type, it should say class, obviously, because we're talking about class modeling here. We're not talking about ERDs anymore. So that's wrong. I need to change that. And what we're saying is an employee instance can relate to another employee instance. Clearly, we're not showing if it's one to many or many to many or anything there. It's just an undefined relationship, which is fine to begin with. So, sort of down here, and here we've got a bit of more detail. We've got relates to one supervisor. The supervisor has one or more workers. That's exactly what we'll be drawing in our diagram. Saying a voluntary worker has one or more coordinators, and a coordinator has one or more workers. There's more examples on this page. So I won't bore you with those for now. All right, you can read those yourself. That is page 22. Right, let's get now to Magic Draw and start doing this. This is what we started with in Magic Draw. We're going to consider a voluntary worker. Now we can create a recursive relationship. You'll notice that there's no sign for recursive relationship here. We've got generalization type of association, but standard type of association, aggregation association, and composition association. So how do we do it? Well, it's quite simple. Let's just choose ordinary association, and then double click on the class, twice, and what you get is a recursive line. Very simple. Now, what we want to actually do is add some cardinality. That is, we want to add some detail about the coordinator and the worker. And so, do that, we actually select the specification, that line. Here we are. Now, this works rather strangely for recursive relationships in Magic Draw. It's, it's different for ordinary um, associations, but for recursive associations, um, the actual multiplicity values seem to go in the other direction. I don't know why, but it seems to work that way. Right, so what we're going to have is association at one end, which is actually A there. I know that, um, if I tried it out. Um, that is going to be called coordinator. Mm -hmm. 
and the other end of it is going to be called the worker. So if you look, it's updated automatically as we do it. So we've got worker and coordinator now. So what I want to say is a coordinator has one or more workers and the worker is associated with just one coordinator. Look right. So you would think you'd put in here at the coordinator end one or more, but you don't because it actually works the other way around for recursive relationships in Magic Draw for some unknown reason. If I put that in, you'll see it's wrong. What we're saying here is a worker has one or more coordinators. It's not what we want to say. We want to say the worker has just one coordinator and the other way around the coordinator has one or more workers. There we are. Remember, if we did an ordinary relationship, two classes, it would be sensible to actually put the um, positives in the right way. But here we put them in the opposite direction for some unknown reason. So close that. And there we've done it. That is recursion. Again, I must emphasize this, recursion is one of the last things you do in modeling. Um, after many, many iterations of trying to develop a model, you'll probably see one or two recursive relationships. Um, don't worry too much if you actually don't have any recursive relationships in class diagram. It's really the, the real icing on the cake at the end. Right, so our next session we'll be looking at inheritance slash generalization in UML. Um, that's a little complex, but I'm sure we'll get through it. See you then. Bye.